Welcome back to another gameplay of The Walking Dead. Clementine, this is going to be the last episode of The Walking Dead. And I'm so happy. This next, we're playing look for Tony Hawk. Together. Hell American yeah. Wasteland. Just One of my favorite out. Tony Hawk games. She's all I got. Hell, I'm playing my favorite all that matters. to my least favorite. Maybe you should stay with the boat. But thank okay. you guys. Sure. Y'all have a win for this. I'm just playing. I'm right here. <laughs> Now we gotta find Clementine, cause that ass went missing. And I think the nigga, the name, Winston, got her, somebody. Yo, Vernon, get out here! Yo, there doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine. Yo. Yo, are you can I hear that shit? Where are you? Talk it loud to Vernon, you son of a bitch! Go get your no. bitches. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Stop making them faces, dang. You sound look like a sad puppy. Like a nigga had to touch your butthole in the wrong place. Just hold on, Clementine. Coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, give me like three minutes. Give me three sec, 30 seconds. You're not you're going out, you're not going out with a bang in this episode. Some fancy shit, shit. Still. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Just some surgical supplies. I met supplies. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. You didn't just see what it said. It said a rib, a rub spreader. Spread the ribs. And let's use it. To open this damn door. Oh, that's I'll have these doors open in two seconds.
Can you just pass already? Thank you. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Help me move it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. Crystal, like, don't be a pussy. I'll go as fast as I can. You got that? <laughs> Try to stay still. <laughs> be able to travel. You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Young. 
Oh, let me just turn around. This nigga ain't gonna help me. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got to go, you hear me? Yeah, we do. <laughs> now what? <laughs> we get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Oh, stupid ladder. Ladder. It's an extension ladder. What's up over here? Bad power. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Hey. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. Uh, not doing that. We got a ladder. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. 
Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. Here you go. I was about to say, I'll repeat that dude Good from Jason. Good goddamn leap, pal. Yeah. Let's get the hell off this roof. What is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Could have just killed me, man. It's bad. Come on, please. What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless! What happened to your arm? We cut it off! Ben, I could just kill you right now! I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. 
Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? What? Nigga, I'm about to Where die. Where the hell do you Hello, get off? Blood. I'm just saying, we should zombies. all chill. Chris Brown. Not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill. Here's some pills. Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around, and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Yo, 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 I'm cuts it back in. In the house! Oh, cuts it back in. Y'all need to stop that. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Hello? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Crystal. Oh, okay. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kimmy. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omid! What is it? Front doors! Fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! This is dirty, dude. I don't want to get you again. Guys, help me with this! Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. We all know where to aim. Get ready. Seems to be in the 
You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. Don't... I'm okay. I'm really parents. No! What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? Uh, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! My arm is not the issue! I'm not the problem! The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem! Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast.
sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. They probably would have let you go alone <laughs> if you hadn't it's told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in there bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him though, right? Well, seems like he got through to Kenny. Well, that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. <laughs> Sound like sex train. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. The pain it is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, uh, do you think it worked? Excuse did it? Did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, 
cheers. Give me that shit. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just... End it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. That's what I'm talking about, Kenny. That's what I'm talking about, Kenny. I'm talking about, Kenny. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Stay up here. Keep an eye out. Okay, but I can't see much from up here. Just let us know if they start coming down the alley. We'll be back. Be careful. careful. Just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Ben. Or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Shit. Fucking hell. 
What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! Oh. He's screwed. He's not screwed. He can't die down here. What do you want to do, Ken? We can't. Oh, I'm gonna show niggas. I'm gonna get to the niggas. Fuck. Wait, why he wore Steve Mans? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Oh God, don't let them get to me. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Yes, it is. Okay. I'm going. Good. Get back up there. Now! What are you gonna do? Fucking go! That is so true. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah! Oh fuck! Kenny! What happened? I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody in the garage. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means... Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do.
River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. You had to say something. Going me. first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Just go nice and slow. Back in the part, I have my grandma legacy, and I don't want to die young. I don't want to die young, so I can't wait to stick. I don't want to die young, so I can't wait to stick. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there!
Combs. I don't want to see him with this game. I got us a twenty rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Well, there were things there. I'm gonna name it. I died. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who Killed I am? Killed a pedophile with died to a walker. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking. Who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. 
canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. Oh, my son good. Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So, so bad. bad. You mean you killed her? Her head is on her back, her back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? <laughs> You're a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Now you sound like a sixth grader, no, actually a second grader. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No, no, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. You won't touch him? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. 
You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Chips. I didn't eat the wavy chips either. Why? Why did you tell Shanti that you? Cause they all, cause they've been open all night. When I woke up, the bag was open. My arm fell off that. Nobody had um clothes on. Which way out? Through there. She's still alive. Don't look in there. No, I know. <gasps> I don't want you. I want the little girl. <laughs> Get them with the forty. It, it didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. He was a handsome little dude.
Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. <laughs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Don't look at me like that. Like it's so precious. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. And just make noises. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cuz. Oh, 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 you got your daughter with you. I'm sorry. Yo, cuz. Nah, nah, she got her daughter with her. Oh, you know where that brain joint at? Nah, nah, son. I don't know where it's at. I haven't eaten brain in like three days. I'm hungry, man. You see my new fans? I call it the Driller. Man, the Driller was already made. Money Jacks have been made that. Fuck the Jacks are dead. I'm making it out. I'm a zombie. Ah. Man, you sound like your old Shelby? Oh, that look messy. Hey, yeah, what's up, niggas? I miss you, Club. Okay. I know her small self didn't drive me in this place. Free, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead for sure. Get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Cleo. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. Is this George though? Mm, this I, is security guard. I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. Call it 45. I might be a little slow. Give me a I'll help you. Go to the dark park after dark and smoke that dumbbell feet. 
I said, Mary, one of burn, we can take out uh, <clears throat> taking them dirty rocks. I got off. you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. Lean on me. I thought I was helping by bringing you we in here. We are not strong. You've just learned another. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Hurry up, man. Use the bat to shatter that. Come on. Come on, guy. Okay, I'm back. Window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for you broken glass. Good job.
Uh, hand come. It's on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with it. From him. The keys and then the gun. Yeah, the keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. No! She's not dead either. Wait, what? What should I get first? Nah, that's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Look at the little girl die on Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Watch out! I did it. I got him. Great, Clem. Good job. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But okay. I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine this would be. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Just hurry up and get this neck of five. I standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. You just, just have to him point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. Right here, Ma. I know you can. Okay, Lee. <clears throat> I can do it. 
I, I can. I say eleven thirty. It don't take me that long to walk, Mama. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 